choirs because all research shows that singing really helps people move, it helps with various health problems, breathing and it makes pain, uh, the evidence shows it makes pain not as bad. It's just been an amazing experience of being unwell and singing and breathing well because I'd lost the ability to breathe well and to express by singing is very healthy. My, my ladies have been doing the class for the last eight weeks and this is the, the big culmination of the whole thing. When we started it was not that great but you can now hear the difference eight weeks on and they've loved it. They've come every week, they've been really enthusiastic and I've never seen them as excited about anything as they've been about coming today. And so we put four choirs across the borough, two in Battersea, one in Tooting and one in Roehampton and um, this was a result of our final end singing and ev everyone's had a really nice time and um, we hope to continue it. I've been going into residential homes and running singing groups. We've had lots of really positive feedback and we are currently at the sharing where all four choirs have come together and we are teaching each other different songs that we've been doing and yeah, celebrating how we sound and meeting new people, meeting new friends. Right, let's have a shout out to everyone. Right, where's Minstead? Where's Hyper? Yeah! Where's Rambler? Yeah! Where's Hill? Well, welcome to our first big sing. We hope to do this regularly. Um, I'm going to hand you over to Phoebe Otto. With just warming ourselves up a little bit. So we're going to breathe them into our nose. <laughs> better as I say I'm a person who doesn't take pills and it's absolutely filled the bill for helping me at my present slightly weak state to get back my strength and I've enjoyed both the teaching the, the breathing exercises which are very helpful and the sheer joy of music which is also such a very healing process to to be able to sing is so free and um, we've had a lot of different different people with different needs, um, a few people that uh, have dementia and they've really really enjoyed singing songs from their from their youth, songs that they know um, and singing is, is proven to be really wonderful for, for working with people with dementia. And we just do a lot of exercising first, you know, breathing and, oh, and all that sort of stuff um, and then we pick out a few songs and sing it and we've even made up a song between us called Battersea. We've made a song about Battersea to the sound of Edelweiss. What I enjoyed doing most, singing my song, what they made up about me, you know, telling them a story about Battersea, and they made a song out of it, and I thought it was absolutely great.
I get to come every week and I really like it. Something like this is really good for the, the elderly. Give them hope that they know that they raise their voice, that they know that they can sing and look forward to it. It was and the and the person, um Tom who teaches us the song, he was so good. Really jolly. As well as it being a really rewarding program for all of the participants involved, um, I've found it um, very rewarding working with this group. Um, it's nice working with a different generation of people and hearing some of their stories. And really great for me to see each week that their confidence has really built and they've enjoyed, I think, singing more and more each week. And they feel now that they, they have this choir, they have this community and nearly everybody today, at our, we're on our lunch break now, nearly everyone has come and said, oh, are we carrying on? When are we going to do more singing? So it's been really nice. Yes, I've been going to Hill Lodge for six weeks. Uh, I missed one week. Uh, and it's on a Monday and it's made my time there. Uh, and then today meeting all the other uh, choir members has been excellent and the buffet lunch was marvellous as well I enjoyed it you know, I just wanted to do it for mum because she loves to sing and when I come back they carried on and I joined in and I really enjoyed it so I thought oh right so I started to come as well and they even invited Maisie the dog she's our mascot <laughs> Um, we've all enjoyed it, I think. We've had some laughs and we've, we've all sang together quite well. And we all gel together, our little group. So, um, yes, we've all enjoyed it. And we've had a <coughs> wonderful teacher, Phoebe. And we've learned so much with her. We've actually surprised ourselves how well we've done. And to come here and sing with everybody else and listen to what they've been doing, is a real joy today and we're very grateful to Walter's Council for organising it all and we hope that there'll be plenty more to come in the future because it's something that we get such pleasure from. It allows us to express emotion that if we bottle it up it's very very it's very destructive to bottle up emotion and I found it's been such fun uh, and not at all formal are hard to do. I thought it was lovely. We used to have it every Wednesday, you know, here, and we're going to miss it. It was something, you know, that was different, and we thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it, them coming here and doing a little sing-song and where we went today I thought was really great you know all meeting up like that and having lunch and really done well I think they did there's a couple of songs I never knew but I had an um <laughs> What I really liked about, about the class was meeting all the different people and listening to uh, wonderful singing and enjoying everybody's company. And I was um, absolutely thrilled. Eight have been invited to join because it was the last one, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. And um, I was invited to come along today. Um, and it's been really, really wonderful and great exercise. <laughs> um, so it's not only releasing their endorphins, but they're also meeting lots of people. It's got lots of benefits. But somebody said it's not about performance, it's about expressing. And that, at this stage of my life where I'm a mature woman and having been a recluse for some time, it's been an amazing experience to, to actually meet people, have fun together and just be generally loosened up. Well, I think there's a, there's a sense of when you start singing, everything somehow opens up.
and you, you relax and uh, although you might feel a little bit nervous to start with but then you realize everybody else is in the same situation and and it, you, the, the feeling of um, ambience and unity and uh, it's just very 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 enjoyable and fascinating yeah. the, the 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 happiness the, the get together of people is the friendship is good c'est bon c'est magnifique I'd recommend it absolutely. People, especially who are lonely, people who are, I've been in my house on my own, uh, not on my own, but not doing anything, and to come out of reclusedom into this has been just an opening of amazing joy and happiness and fun. And you know, I tell you what, I used to look forward to the tunes that come out in the afternoon to sing. Look forward to it, and then after that, we have a cup of tea. So it was good, well done. But being playful I think is important because as we're older we might get a bit rigid and not not take risks, sort of stick in and feel we have to do the same old thing. And to come out at this stage and meet people of my own age and to feel the wonderful wealth of expression and who they are. It's such a joy to share who they are, these older women, like myself. Well, I thought to myself, why don't they put us on uh, Britain's Got Talent? <laughs> there, there was one lady there in 94, she's older than me, so, you know, it was, no, it was really, really nice to meet the people and they were so sweet, some of them there. Well, my favourite bit when they all sang together. When I went back to my flat, without realising it, I found myself singing in my flat as I, I was going around, you know, doing my bits and pieces, um, and I just felt, I just felt absolutely uplifted, I suppose you might say. And I just think it's an, a wonderful, wonderful idea. Definitely do it because it's great fun, um, and it's a way to all get together and just enjoy yourself, really. And singing is great. When we leave on a Tuesday. We all feel really happy, and we're still talking about it a few days later. And people are singing, still singing the songs days later, and saying, "Oh, I sang this to my family or or whoever." They really loved it. So definitely, if you get the opportunity, do it. It's really innovative, and there's so much research coming out at the moment that singing is beneficial for for different health and um, health needs, and it's got proven uh, proven benefits um, and it's really exciting to see that that ones with council are actually listening to the research and creating opportunities for for elderly people that are that are often isolated to to do regular singing workshops and then take them out of that environment again yes I do like it here the people are nice, they muck in, you know. Whatever problems people may have, somehow when you're singing, um, you can just forget everything and just enjoy, enjoy the moment. And we've been very well looked after as well. So it's also been a nice social event as well as learning to sing as a group and a nice way of keeping contact with each other and, and making friends. This is what we want more, especially elderly people. Um, sometimes you shut in and you think all is gone, but no, the voice, try the voices. If you can't, if you can't do anything else, try the voices, because some of them can't move, but they move in the wheelchair and they sing, and which is good. So if you're at home lonely and afraid and mature, it may be that you are afraid to go out or afraid to take a risk and do something different. I suggest you get to your local choir and you'll have a ball and a lot of fun and relaxation and feel good factor. And I'm looking forward to many more of this as long as we can take part.
four went far into side, what's going to happen with the choir next? So, big round of applause for Elaine, yeah. Siobhan, Tom and Phoebe. <laughs> Yeah.